Hey, what's up everybody? Angelic Vixen here from Lucky by Nature. Today I'm going to show you the Structures Plus Nanny. The Structures Plus Nanny basically takes care of your baby dinos and creatures from birth. So you have the baby dino, you claim it, and then she takes care of it for you. She feeds it and she does all of your imprints. You will be able to get 100% imprints on all of your baby dinos and creatures because she does all of that for you. I don't know at this point if they're going to implement the Nanny with the Structures Plus that they're going to be adding to official. Of course, I could hope that that feature you know was added because it frees up a lot of your time so you can focus on things like grinding metal instead of staring at a baby dino for hours on end however you know wildcard may not approve this to be added to official because it is pretty op but if you have pc and you have your own server you can add the structures plus mod to your server and then of course you would have the nanny available to you so let's get right into it and let me show you exactly how the um, structures plus nanny works and how she takes care of the baby dinos for you Okay, so let's go over the basics. You have to be a level 40 to unlock the engram. Once you unlock the engram, you need 250 cementing paste, 100 hide, 50 human hair, and 100 metal ingots. That to me is fairly reasonable. That's not over the top to make her. And then to activate her, you either need to have a tech generator or you need to feed her honey, which to me, honey, that's, you know, fairly reasonable. And the honey lasts a pretty long time in her, so it's not that bad. So that's all it takes to basically make her and then make her work. All right, and then as you can see here, this is the range of the nanny. Once you turn her on, the range is actually pretty significant. She should be able to cover an entire like breeding pen, breeding area, wherever you keep your babies. You know, that whole entire area should be pretty much covered. You just have to kind of move her around. The good thing about Structures Plus is you can pick up everything. So you set it down and you can pick it up. It's not like you have to destroy it and then start all over. That's one of the things that most of us hate about wild cards, you know, building stuff is you put it up. And if you mess up for some reason, you know, lag makes it move into the wrong spot, so on and so forth, you know, you have to destroy it and then start over. It's just a waste of resources. Luckily with Structures Plus, and of course we don't know if this feature will be implemented with, you know, official, hopefully it will, you'll be able to just pick it up, move it into place, and boom, you're done. You never have to go over it and over it and over it with resources that just, you know, because grinding for resources, it takes a lot of time. I just hate that about wildcard stuff. So if you know structures plus comes with these features you can just pick her up and move her into the place that you need to to ensure that the entire area is covered all right so now i'm going to show you from one extreme to the other jerboa to giga jerboas are incredibly complicated to raise if you've ever done it before you know that they can die really easy because they forget to eat and even though wild card has made changes jerboas are still you know pretty challenging so all you have to do is one you have to claim the dino you make sure that it's off wandering and you make sure that it's in the range of the nanny and you're done that's it she does all of your imprints for you. You do not need to put in any kibble. We thought originally you did because it says you can put the kibble in the nanny and then it takes care of it for you so that we thought, oh, okay, we just have to make every single kibble that they usually ask for and we're good. However, they never use the kibble. So we took the kibble out and we we're like, let's see if she does the imprints because, you know, it'll ask things like it wants, I don't know, parasaur kibble or something well, it wasn't using it. So we realized that the nanny literally does the imprints without any kibble. You don't need to cuddle it yourself. You don't need to walk it yourself. She does every single thing for you. Like your life becomes so much easier because you do not have to worry about your baby dinos and creatures anymore. She does all of that work for you and now you can focus on other things. However, you got to keep this in mind. Once the baby is no longer a baby, when it changes to, you know, adolescent, juvenile, things like that, you have to make sure you fill your troughs because if you do not, then the babies will run out of food and they will die. Okay, so you need to make sure that you're ready and prepared for them to be off the nanny. Now, the nanny, as long as it's still not an adult dino or creature, will take care of it for you as far as the imprints. It does all of that for you. Every single one of your dinos from this point, if you're using the nanny, will get 100% imprint as long as she's activated and she's fed. So to make sure she's activated, you have to make sure she's fed. So either you use the tech generator or you use honey. All right, and I want to give you another example of something that you need to keep in mind. Let's say you're raising two baby Rexes, and one of the baby Rexes says it would like a cuddle, and you give it a cuddle, and let's say it goes from 4% to 9% on that particular uh, Rex, but then, then the baby next to it is at 4% still because, of course, it hasn't done its next imprint. The nanny will not do another imprint until both babies catch up to one another. So when that other baby is at now 9%, then they start ticking away again 
to do the imprints. Like you literally do not need to do walks, you do not need to do cuddles, you do not need to provide kibble. The nanny will do every single imprint for you. But you know, sometimes you feel inclined to be like, well, it wants a cuddle, so I could just do that. It's not gonna change anything. It's not gonna make it any faster because the nanny is on a schedule. She does it based on the amount of time that is going to need to do a 100% imprint on that particular dyno, plus your server rates. So if you're on a server that is boosted, then of course it will calculate that time automatically to ensure that you get a full 100% imprint on your dyno. So again, if you see things like do a walk or do a cuddle, you don't need to do it because she will do it for you. So, I mean, basically what it comes down to is there's a lot of features on Structures Plus that are really incredible. They free up a lot of your time so you can focus on other things like grinding, um, you know, resources, because we do lose all of that time when, of course, we're raising. And there are other things in Structures Plus that also help with raising and making it so much easier. And they all kind of work together. And again, I will be showing you every single thing. And I know a lot of people have come in and they're like, well, you know, this is too cheaty or this is too OP for official. Right now, honestly, none of us really know the direction Wildcard's going to go when they implement Structures Plus. Yeah, I mean, the truth is it's probably going to be a lot of just the building stuff. Again, I'm just going to show you every single thing that they offer and what it, you know, is all about. So that's it for this video, guys. Until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.